boys and girls, and welcome to Pajama Prayers. It's so nice to have you with me this evening. Thank you for joining me. We're going to begin our show tonight with a game of Hidden Pictures. Have you played Hidden Pictures before? If you've watched Pajama Prayers, you have played Hidden Pictures, and we have another fun game for tonight. So let's get ready, get our eyes focused, and start looking for those objects. Here we go. Can you find what's hidden in this picture? Can you find a fried egg? Where is the fish? Can you see the drumstick? Where are the scissors? Can you find the clock? Do you see a needle? Can you find the artist brush? Do you see a baby's rattle? Can you find a crown? Can you find a candy cane? Do you see a cupcake? Now find a spoon. Can you find the fork? Where is the sock? Can you find a pencil? What about a funnel? Where is the jump rope? Do you see a mouse? Can you find a football? Can you find the wishbone?
What about a crayon? Do you see a teacup? Where is the apple? Can you find a banana? What about a belt? Can you find the dog bone? Where is the donut? Can you find a slice of pizza? A heart. What about a mitten? Great job! I hope you enjoyed playing that game. Did you find a lot of the objects? I sure hope so. I didn't find all of them, but I found quite a few. I hope you did too. Let's move to our story now. Tonight's story is titled Rainbow Fish. And it's a really fun story. I know you're going to love it. So settle down and get comfortable and let's watch. The Rainbow Fish by Marcus Pfister A long way out in the deep blue sea, there lived a fish. Not just an ordinary fish, but the most beautiful fish in the entire ocean. His scales were every shade of blue and green and purple, with sparkling silver scales among them. The other fish were amazed at his beauty. They called him Rainbow Fish. Come on, Rainbow Fish, they would call. Come and play with us. But the Rainbow Fish would just glide past, proud and silent, letting his scales shimmer. One day, a little blue fish followed after him. Rainbow Fish, he called, wait for me. Please give me one of your shiny scales. They are so wonderful. And you have so many. You want me to give you one of my special scales? <laughs> Who do you think you are? Cried the rainbow fish. Get away from me. Shocked, the little blue fish swam away. He was so upset. He told all of his friends what had happened. From then on, no one would have anything to do with the rainbow fish. They turned away when he swam by. What good were the dazzling, shimmering scales with no one to admire them? Now he was the loneliest fish in the entire ocean. One day he poured out his troubles to the starfish. I really am beautiful. Why doesn't anybody like me? I can't answer that for you, said the starfish. But if you go beyond the coral reef to a deep cave, you will find the wise octopus. Maybe she can help you. 
The rainbow fish found the cave. It was very dark inside and he couldn't see anything. Then, suddenly two eyes caught him in their glare and the octopus emerged from the darkness. I have been waiting for you, said the octopus with a deep voice. The waves have told me your story. This is my advice. Give a glittering scale to each of the other fish. You will no longer be the most beautiful fish in the sea, but you will discover how to be happy. I can't, the rainbow fish started to say, but the octopus had already disappeared into a dark cloud of ink. Give away my scales? My beautiful shining scales? Never! How could I ever be happy without them? Suddenly, he felt the light touch of a fin. The little blue fish was back. Rainbow fish, please don't be angry. I just want one little scale. The rainbow fish wavered. Only one very, very small shimmering scale, he thought. Well, maybe I wouldn't miss just one. Carefully, the rainbow fish pulled out the smallest scale and gave it to the little fish. Thank you, thank you so very much, the little blue fish bubbled playfully as he tucked the shiny scale in among his blue ones. A rather peculiar feeling came over the rainbow fish. For a long time, he watched the little blue fish swim back and forth with his new scale glittering in the water. The little blue fish whizzed through the ocean with his scale flashing so that it didn't take long before the rainbow fish was surrounded by the other fish. Why, everyone wanted a glittering scale. The rainbow fish shared his scales left and right. And the more he gave away, the more delighted he became. When the water around him filled with glimmering scales, he at last felt at home among the other fish. The End Boys and girls, you know, the story of the rainbow fish isn't about just doing something so that others will like you or they bully you and so you do you give in to their bullying. It's about doing the right thing. It's about making good choices. Do you think Rainbow Fish made a good choice when he gave away his scales? Boys and girls, the Bible has something to say about making choices. In the book of Titus, chapter 3, and verse 1, it says, Be ready to do whatever is good. The next time you have a choice to make, pray. Ask Jesus, what is good? What would be the good choice? And that's the choice you want to make. Well, we've reached the end of our show tonight. I hope you will join us next Saturday night for pajama prayers. Until then, turn to someone there with you and say, You are worth more than you know, capable of more than you think, and loved more than you can imagine. Good night. Mm-hmm.